Hi peanuts, my sweet cherubs. So I know times are really, you know, strange right now and they have been for a while and I haven't seen anyone in a really long time. Um, and I know that things are really serious and, you know, maybe a little scary. So I thought that we would do something silly because teacher care uses silly things to make serious situations you know, a little bit easier to deal with. So today we're going to make whatever this is. I've dubbed it a worm. It's based off those silly worms on strings, but it looks more like fish. So it can be whatever you want it to be, but I'm going to show you how to make it. It's going to be fun. So we're going to set this buddy aside and what we're going to need is a big chunk of yarn for our worm fish body. And then you're going to need another piece, a single piece, this long piece. It can be whatever color you want. Also, you can have as much yarn as you want. You can make your fish as fat as you want or as skinny as you want. You can make it however you want to make it. And then you're going to need two more pieces. And I did different colors so that you'd be able to tell where they're going to go. Um, you're going to need two more pieces of yarn. And those will be for later and I'll show you what they're for later. But to start off, we're going to need our long piece, this one, and our chunk. What we're going to do is we're going to lay our long piece flat. We're going to take our chunk. We're going to set it boop, right in the middle. We're going to cross it over. We're going to put it on top of our long piece. And then what we're going to do, and for my friends who are practicing tying their shoes, you guys, I think, know this first step. We're going to tie a knot. We're not doing any bows. Bows are a little, are a little tricky. We're going to tie some knots. So what you're going to do is you're going to cross your pieces over and the piece that's underneath the other piece, you're going to wrap it around and bring it back and then boop, tie it. And then you're going to do it again just so that it doesn't come undone because you are tying a knot. And you're going to take it and you're, you see, and you're going to wrap it around and bring it back up and boop. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the middle where you've tied your thing. You're going to fold it in half. And I'm going to brush out my strands. You're going to fold it in half. And there you've got the beginning of your fish body. Slash worm body. Whatever body. And so we're going to set that aside again. And then you're going to take one of those other strings you cut. And you're going to place it flat again. And, and you're going to take your place where you tied it off and you're gonna stick it up there we're gonna this is so that you can make your fish worm nose and again you're gonna take your knot you're gonna wrap it or you're gonna wrap it around you're gonna pull super tight and you're gonna do it again just so that it doesn't come undone because we don't want our our creature to fall apart and i'm gonna cut them so if you've got some safe scissors or parent you can cut them they go and then you've got the beginning of your fish body slash worm body whatever animal you've decided to call this and again you're gonna set it aside you can get your other strand I don't know, there's a lot of steps and you're gonna lay the back end of your fish worm thing right here and again you're gonna take it go around pull Take it, go around, oop, pull. And if you need help, then just ask for help. I bet some of you have siblings that could help you, or maybe mom or dad. And I'm going to trim off our butt feathers. You don't have to trim off your butt feathers. You can keep them. It is all up to you. This is your worm fish creature thing. And... Our worm creature friend is, you know, he's, he's, he's missing some eyes. Some eyes might be important. And Teacher Kira loves googly eyes. So, Teacher Kira is using googly eyes. So if you got googly eyes, this could be fun. You can use pom-pom balls. You can take a piece of paper and draw eyes and cut them out. Like, you could do super crazy eyes. Like, you could, you could draw some crazy, crazy eyes and cut them out. And then you can glue them to your worm fish body thing. 
and you can use Elmer's glue. Teacher Kira's Elmer's glue is all gone, so I'm using hot glue. So if you have a parent who can help you with hot glue, then you can use hot glue. But if it's just you, then please use the Elmer's glue. Hot glue is not safe. It's very hot, very dangerous, and you can burn yourself. And that would be very bad. So if you are going to use hot glue, please have a parent or grown-up help you. And then, yeah, but look, we've got, we've got eyes. We've got fish eyes. And the awesome thing about your fish is you can decorate it however you want. You can add paint. You can cut out more pictures and glue them on. You can, um, you can add pom-pom balls. You can add stuff. Stickers. Teacher Kira's gonna add stickers because Teacher Kira found some really cool dinosaur stickers in her craft room, and I love dinosaurs. So I'm gonna put dinosaurs on my fish worm thing. Um, we got a Bronchiosaurus and a Triceratops. Ta-da! And just because you can, you can if you have googly eyes, you can add more googly eyes. Look at all those googly eyes. You can't see them. So you can glue extra googly eyes to your fish creation. Make it silly. Make it fun. If you want, you can tie another string to your fish creation. I'm going to do that just to show you. Around the, around the nose, you can tie another string you might need a little help with this, but I believe in you. And then you can drag it around on a string, which is super silly because silly things are fun. But anyway, I hope you all have fun making whatever weird things you make. I have, uh, hope you guys have fun doing whatever craft projects you end up doing in your house. Um, remember to stay creative and to remember to have fun even in these hard times and to take care of one another. Anyway, I love you all, and I hope you all are well, and I hope you guys have fun making funky weird fishworm creatures. Bye-bye!